Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Graduation ceremonies held at UNH, Plymouth State, and UNE. The University of New Hampshire and Plymouth State University held commencement ceremonies for the class of 2018 on Saturday. About 2,100 undergraduate and 800 graduate students filled Wildcat Stadium in Durham to collect their UNH diplomas. Sean Gorman, the second chairman of L.L. Bean in the company's Century Plus History and a member of the class of 1989, spoke to graduates. He encouraged them to lead adventure-filled lives and to make sure to spend time outdoors. How and where you choose to be outside doesn't matter, Gorman said. What is important is recognizing that being outdoors is a crucial antidote to this hyper-competitive, hyper-stressed, tech-driven world we live in. Yes, technology powers our lives in all sort of wonderful ways. But it will never fill your soul like watching a sunrise from a mountain. Graduates also heard from President Mark Edelstone, who is retiring at the end of June after 11 years, the longest serving president in UNH history. And like you, I suspect I feel kind of sad to be leaving, but excited about the future, Harold Stone said. Plymouth State University held its 147th commencement ceremony with Governor Chris Sununu delivering the address. He told graduates they're finishing college at a very unique time. There's a lot of opportunity out there, Sununu said. Trust me, it's not always like this where it's 2.6% unemployment in New Hampshire. That means there's a lot of available jobs and a lot of opportunity. But the governor said becoming a success still isn't easy. Work hard to bring out the best in yourselves because it is hard work he said. UNE marks first commencement under leadership of James Herbert at 183rd commencement. The University of New England celebrated its 180 third commencement on May 19th at the Cross Insurance Arena in Portland. More than 1,800 students received degrees and certifications in osteopathic medicine, dental medicine, pharmacy, health science, natural science, human services, education, management, and 
the liberal arts. UNE President James Herbert, who was inaugurated in September of 2017, expressed that the ceremony, the first UNE commencement at which he served as president, held special meaning for him. And that does it for my evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your evening, and I'll see you back here tomorrow with more news reports. Good night, everyone. Bye.